Well, good day, everybody. Welcome. Today we're having a squiz at Pioneers of Pagonia. Let's uh, start a game. I think we might go uh, rich forest, wet grassland map. Uh, let's just go with the rich forest map. Yeah, why not? We'll get stuck into this. Nice little uh, city building game. Let's see how we go. See what it's all about. And uh, you might want to add it to your wish list. This is the demo that's available in the uh, Steam Next Fest. So uh, definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, if you've played it. Or if you were thinking of playing it. And, uh, and you're going to play it after you watch this video. Hope everybody is well. Let's get stuck into Pioneers of Pagonia. All right. So here we are on our ship. Now our ship has... Um, can I pause? Can I uh, push pause? I don't know. Now, our ship has uh, 329 people on board. It already has softwood trunks. It's got border stones. It's got cut stones, uh, stones and stuff like that. So what we want to do is uh, get rid of that for starters. I think the first thing that we want to actually do is build ourselves a road. Everything in this game has to be built against the road so keep that in mind if uh, if you do play it yourself there we go we've got that uh so what we're going to need to do i think is we're going to need to uh build ourselves some uh what have we got a wood cutting hut most definitely a wood cutting hut um again these things actually need to be attached to a road so let's throw one in there and I'll lock a road in there and then lock it in there as well. So it kind of has that grid-based kind of a thing happening to it, doesn't it? Um, so we'll get that and you'll, we'll start to see some people starting to come off of... Uh, starting to come off of the boat now and starting to build the stuff that we're setting up. I'm going to get relatively quickly into this. Um, so... Uh, I'll, I'll probably whiz through a few things. We're also going to need a quarry. Now, if we build a quarry here, it kind of highlights the rocks there that we will actually be able to get out of our quarry. So I'm going to throw that in. The other thing that's really, really important in this is to build an explorer's hut and to build a watchtower. Now, the guards on the watchtower, this here is the border within which we can actually build. You can see these little jagged, uh, these little sort of uh, pylons and stuff here. Now, guard towers and stuff like that allow the guards to come out here and start expanding your territory. So, if we go into, uh, let's see, equipment and trading. I do want to build myself a, uh, a storage as well. So, I'm probably going to build a storage here, I reckon. And I reckon I might build a storage here as well. How do I rotate? Let's see. Rotate the building. We want it that way. Let's throw a storage in there as well. Uh, what else do we have? Exploration and expansion. So a guard tower. Which I think is pretty important to get done in the beginning as well. So I'm going to throw a guard tower in there. And uh, this is going to sort of start using our resources up. So they'll start dragging the resources off of the boat. There's uh, there's a lot of people. And like I said, we do have... Uh, so what do we got at the moment? We've got uh, 40 carriers. Uh, we've got 15 diggers. And we've got 20 builders at the moment. Out of our 20... Out of our 329 population, which is a pretty huge population, really... So we get these uh, really important resources happening in the beginning, which is uh, which is really important. Food products. We're going to need a forager's hut. Now I don't know what the forager can actually forage. All of that stuff over there. <laughs> That's not going to help us at this point in time until our land expands a little bit. So, what do we actually have food-wise? Uh, let's see, we've got uh, 60 rations. We don't have too much more than 60 rations, so we're going to have to get something happening. We're also going to have to get a... Um... Now, I don't know, I, I reckon I reckon that, uh, that the forager will probably actually... Will probably actually go out and, and work out there. 
within that area. So that it might be worth putting that down there, I reckon. And then once we expand a little bit, we'll put a uh, we'll put a hunter's cabin. We've got a crop farm, we've got a vegetable farm, we've got a hunting lodge there. We've got farmland. Um, might be worth putting in a vegetable farm somewhere, I think. Now, I won't let you build... None of these buildings will actually work unless we have a... Um, unless we actually have a... Uh, a road connected to them so I'm going to spin this around like this and I'm going to throw it in there and then we'll uh, we'll connect that up with a road so I might go through to here and then into there I reckon like that that should be okay and then they should be able to build that now crop fields we're going to have to build those over here and we'll build all of those around here and get some crops growing. So we've got food, we've got timber, um, and we've got stone. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Everything's starting to get built up now. Uh, our wood, our woodcutter's hut is actually working. Do we have a forester's? We do have a forester. Utilizes water as well. Um, we could throw a forester in here, maybe. Or do we throw a forester over here somewhere to give us a bigger area? That, I think. I think we might throw a forester in there. I reckon that might be okay, but we may need to do a, um, we may need to do a well which is right there because the forester is going to utilize a well and everybody else is as well. So, well, everybody else is as well. See what I did there? Unconsciously. Uh, looks like our guard tower is built. No, our guard tower is built now. What we should do is uh, we should find that uh, people become guards. They will probably come off of the ship, I think. We're going to get some guards coming off of the ship. Yeah, we do. We've got farmers coming off. We've got guards coming off now. So there they are. And once those guards come off of the ship, then they'll actually start expanding all of this, uh, all of this land and this area here. Uh, normal priority. Buildings treated with normal priority. Uh, set claim focus point. So I'm going to set the claim focus point over here. And uh, they'll actually start working out that way. Later on, once they start claiming some of that land, we'll probably go in this direction as well. Um, it's a pretty good looking game. And it's pretty interesting that, uh, that you start off with such a large population and stuff. Um, we've got housing for 190 people. So we're probably going to have to start building some housing as well. Uh, let's see, population and meals. Cottage. So we've got cottages, we've got a market. Uh, the market provides drinking water to enjoy the company of meals. Must be placed near a market stalls. And yeah, that's a market fountain. A market stall. Uh, carriers bring food from hunters and farms to market stalls. Workers from a nearby tavern collect the ingredients. There's a tavern. So we need softwood beams. We need a provisioner. Uh, produces rations for explorers. Yep, cool. Okay, so what we might do, I think, is we might throw in a couple of houses. Get some houses done. Uh, I might bring I might bring that road through here, like that. And then we'll uh, we'll throw in another couple of houses, I reckon. Throw another one in there. Uh, we'll throw another one in there as well. And then what we'll do is we'll throw a uh, we'll throw a market in as well. So we'll put a little market down here somewhere. Um, let's see. We could fit another house in there. We could throw a market stall in there. And what else do we need? Um, we could throw a 
could throw the fountain in next door. And a provisioner as well. They produce rations for explorers and treasure hunters. We don't need to do that at the moment. We will throw in another house here and we can probably expand our market over there. Don't want to go too hard with everything at the moment, but uh, you can see we've got a lot of buildings being built. But over here, you can see the... Um, it's quite unique, really, isn't it? You can see all of, these, uh, all of these soldiers and stuff starting to expand our territory out to here. Um, the gatherer should be gathering or should at least very, very soon start gathering that stuff. So that should be good. What do we have sitting down there? Yeah, well, they're gathering here as well by the looks of it. Oh, no, these are the uh, foresters planting forest stuff. That was actually the forester, isn't it? The forager's hut there. They are starting to gather from here now. So they'll start to gather all of this stuff as our... Uh, as our stuff expands. Good oh. Good oh. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna build another road. Probably straight out here like that, I think. We'll sort of keep that going. We will build an explorer's hut in a minute as well. Um, which is gonna be pretty important because we can actually send explorers off, but what I want to do at the moment, we've got uh, no softwood beams, we've got softwood trunks, which is covering all of our building and all of our essentials at the moment, so that should be okay. What else do we have in here? Equipment and training. We've got a guild hall, and trains construction workers and craftspeople. Uh, we've got a toolsmith, so it creates tools for all workers that are delivered to the great hall. We've got a wood workshop uh, for doing... Uh, yep, cool. Got that. Uh, we've got an armor smith there. We've got a military academy, an artisan blacksmith, an adventurer's guild, and an arcane academy there. Storage and trade. We've got the treasury and the storage. Uh, stores coins and other valuable commodities. A trading post. A trader's camp. Processing. We've got a mint. Uh, coins minted here can be stored in the treasury and used for trade, a leather worker, and a weaving shed. Produces rope, cloth, robes, and silver-lined robes. Lovely. Mining-wise, we've got the uh, smelting works, the silver hut, the iron hut, and the coal hut, and the copper hut. So they produce iron bars and silver bars. Lovely. So we're going to need cut stone at some point. So we're probably going to need a stonemason to, to create. Actually, was it the stonemason? No. Let's have a look. Uh, produces cut stone and, uh, and border stone as well. So what I'm probably going to do is throw a stonemason in here, I think. Might actually throw it. Might build a road through there, I think, before I throw that in. Might be a, a better option. So let's head straight through here. Behind those houses should give us enough room to uh, to build our houses, which would be really, really good. And we'll get the uh, the stonemason. What's that? That's the quarry. So if the stonemason is near the quarry, then that will be good. That'll work out quite well. So that's a storage uh, materials missing. What's missing? Softwood beams. How do we get softwood beams? Probably a carpenter. A forester, a sawmill will give us hardwood and softwood beams. Might throw that out there as well. I feel like I'm going at like 500 miles an hour. Uh, beautiful. I think it's all actually going quite well. Uh, are we doing all right on food rations? So we've still got 60 rations, but no rabbit meat, no raspberries. Okay. 
We have housing for 267 people, which isn't too bad. Waiting on softwood beams. So as soon as this is built, what does this require to be built? It just requires softwood trunks. Can we prioritize this? Let's prioritize it. Get that done. Uh, they're growing vegetables. I don't know whether you actually have the ability to... Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can actually choose what we're going to grow there. Okay, I might let them go with that for now. Uh, our soldiers there, if we go back onto the guard tower and we get them to expand out this way now, that will be really, really good. We can utilize that timber there as well, which is looking good. It's, a, uh, it's quite a nice looking game. It's definitely quite a nice looking game. And uh, I'm assuming that in our, uh, in our boat, that we should actually be able to start probably going out and um, maybe trading. Maybe trading. Eventually. Eventually. Do we actually have a map? We don't actually have a map, so. All right. That's good. Uh, Food-wise... We don't need a windmill, but we will need a windmill and a bakery soon. Uh, we've got the vegetable farm. We can throw a hunting log in now. Or lodge. Which I'm going to throw there at some point in time. Is this being built? Yeah, it's pretty close to being finished now. It's got all of the materials that we need. So the builders are incoming now. So there's three builders coming in to build that. Which is pretty good. Okay, lovely, lovely. We will come and expand out there at some point in time. But uh, there was definitely animals through here that we can hunt. So if we grab the forager's hut and throw that out here, then we'll have a larger area. Let's do that again and we'll set that focus point there. Cool. Cool, focus points are pretty cool. These guys are expanding. There's this little, yeah, tiny little bit there, but that's okay. So that'll give us coast and stuff like that. We're probably going to need to, at some point in time, do a fishery. Uh, bakery. Do we have a fishers? Hunting, vegetable, crop, farmland. Well, can't find one. Can't find one. Maybe it's something that's coming a little bit later. I reckon. Uh, an explorer's hut should go up as well. So we'll throw that in there. Once this is built, we'll start producing the uh, the softwood beams and the hardwood boards that we need to produce. So we're kind of waiting on that at the moment, I think. Okay, sawmill is built. Perfect. So they can start producing uh, softwood beams. We won't produce firewood there at the moment. Let's just do our softwood beams and our hardwood beams. And that'll sort of help us out. Uh, we will also, once everything else is built, we'll probably throw another couple of houses in, I reckon. But these storage areas are the ones that, need, uh, that we definitely need to get going. So here we go. Workers are going into there. We've got uh, two plus one. There we go. We've got three workers in there now. And they should start producing. So we should start seeing some softwood beams come out. Which will allow us to build that. Because they only need one of those storage areas. Now that doesn't need anything. But it does need... Well, it needs cut stone. But it doesn't need any uh, beams or anything. So these guys are working away. It's nice to have all of these people to get everything uh, happening, isn't it? That's all expanding out here. It's looking good. They've expanded all the way, almost all the way to that tree line. So we're going to need to find iron ore at some point in time. I'm wondering how much out there, how much iron ore we're going to get out there. But we can send some explorers out to explore anyway. So that should be okay. 
Nice. Very nice. Hunters. Hunting lodge is, uh, is up. So we'll have the hunters hunting in that area. If we focus over here. Then they should start hunting. Which will be good. That'll start bringing in some more food. Our rations haven't gone down. We've got plenty of water. Which is really, really good. What have we got? Hammers. We've got shovels. So we're going to have to work pretty hard at getting some tools running as well. And we're probably at some point in time going to have to produce border stones, I'm guessing. Perfect. Looking good. 123 residents still available for tasks. Um... Okay, we're probably going to have to start building some more housing as well. Uh, market should start soon once we get that softwood beam. But they're doing the storage first, which is probably going to be pretty important. So, be good. You can, um, you could, we could build like, you know, different storage areas or build a huge market and stuff like that as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, do we have... Let's have a look. Shows what our claimed area of the island is at the moment. It's 3.8%. Available room in residence coming soon. What else have we got up here? Mil our military strength. Rare resources, which are silver and silver coins. So we do need to get into that. Uh, we don't have any coin readout anywhere at the moment, but... Uh, what are our, uh, we need two stonemasons that wants us to build. It wants us to build two quarries, three woodcutting huts. We might actually build another woodcutting hut, actually. Uh, woodcutting hut, we might build that over here. And they can, uh, they can start chopping all of this down. And then they'll also chop this area down as well, so. Because we're getting pretty low there. The other interesting thing is when you build a tavern in this, there's a construction camp. Huh, that's pretty cool. Stone mill. Uh, when you're building, uh, what is it? When you build the tavern, you've got to build the, um, the uh, tavern tables as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Softwood beam and cut stone. We, we might be able to throw the tavern in here now. I'll show you how that goes before we uh, before we go too far. So you build the tavern in there, and then you basically build uh, you build tables around your tavern, basically in effect, and people um, people actually uh, sit at the tables and eat. So. I don't know whether these tables need to be connected. They may do. So we built some tables out there, uh, not connected, so they definitely do need to be connected to a road, interestingly enough. Let's grab that, run that in there like so. That connects those. Let's come out to here and run that to there as well. There we go. So that'll connect those to a road as well, which means people will be able to come in and eat at the tavern. Uh, I'm guessing that we can throw a road through there. Maybe not. Can we set that tree to... Just wondering whether we can actually set that tree to uh, to be dismantled. I would like to get a road through there as well, but at this point in time, I don't think I'm going to be able to. So, and I don't think we can get a small road through there. I'm going to do that. It's weird. But it'll work for now. I maybe should have moved the tavern over just a little bit more. I think. Uh, okay, so what do we got there? We've got the uh, the other wood cutting hut is 
It has all its stuff. It's waiting for builders now. Uh, our army has gone through and done that. Our explorer's hut. Let's uh, let's set a point for them to explore over here. They can head out and explore that. Our guards. Let's set them an expansion point. Let's get them to expand out here for now. I reckon. Then we'll see how they go. They should uh, they should head out and start doing that as well. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, it's, it's running really, really well, isn't it? Everything seems to be working very, very well. I don't know whether the demo's timed or... But uh, there definitely seems to be a lot in it. Like a lot. So now we're going to need a provisioner and we're going to need 15 farmland. Tavern we're building and we're going to need four tavern tables. As well as a guild hall. Okay, cool, cool. And two guard towers. I kind of don't really want to go too fast on all of that, but I probably should be, shouldn't I? We can get uh, four more fields happening. That'll help. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, and four. And then that'll, uh, that'll fill that up, so... Then we can start expanding our fields out here as well. It doesn't look like fields need to be connected to a road, so that should be all right. Yeah, quite a good-looking little game. Quite fun to play as well. I'm quite enjoying it so far, uh, as far as city builders go. Uh, anything? Yep. Anything? Yep. And it's got firewood in stock, so we are going to need to... Do another woodcutter and concentrate on doing firewood. I may throw him... may throw a woodcutter out here, I reckon. Uh, sorry, a sawmill, not a woodcutter. If I throw him in there, he's connected to the road anyway. And we'll set him up to doing uh, for doing firewood as well. Which will be pretty cool. Alright, lovely. Lovely, and our uh, soldiers are expanding. They kind of do it a little bit randomly, don't they? Just a little bit randomly. I think they work straight towards the uh, the point that you put out there. But I'm hoping that somewhere there's some... Well, there's coal up here. There's copper there. Copper there. So we might be able to get another... Uh, another I mean, another uh, mine up here. Hole there. Do we have any iron ore? Limestone, coal, stone. So there's plenty of expansion that we that we would have to do. Uh, I do wonder whether these resources run out. I mean, we've only got stone here. So it'd be interesting to know if they did. We could build another guard tower over this end somewhere as well if we wanted to. I guess that wouldn't hurt. Road-wise. We could throw a road out here as well. Like so. Cool. I didn't take any notice as to whether the roads actually uh, cost you anything either. But uh, our rations are now down to 39. So food production-wise... I think it's the I think it's the tavern that makes food. Nutritious meal. Yeah, I'm just wondering what ah here we go, provisioner. So ball meat do you make makes rations. So we're definitely gonna have to throw a provisioner in here as well. Which will be good. And uh, some more housing, I think. Some more housing for people as well. We've got our tavern up. We've got our tavern table up. Let's throw another house in there. Uh, we're kind of running out of house room, aren't we? We can't get another one in there, but we could get another house there and there as well if we wanted to. 
and probably next door to the tavern. There we go. I don't think there's any area of effect that uh, that gives any bonuses to houses and stuff. So, although we haven't got into the really nasty stuff though, have we? Now, uh, what do we got? Let's see. Population, build market stalls. It wants six market stalls. Okay, okay, we can we can build six market stalls, can't we? Uh, let's see. That's two. That's three. That's four. Maybe we could build a couple here as well. Five and six. There we go. And fire all of that. And that'll get that challenge out of the way as well. Uh, Guild Hall. Six market stalls. Provisioner we're building. And we need one more well as well. Well as well. It should be under resources, wasn't it? Was it under food? It was under food. So let's maybe throw another well in here. Don't have the room. Don't have the room. Just throw one in there. Uh, where are we? Where can we throw it? Over here, I guess. Let's throw a well in there, and then we'll bring these roads through as well. I think. There we go. Should be alright. A little bit of a mess. <laughs> a little bit of a mess. It, uh, it seems to have a... Um, an interesting grid system. So that's a little bit different to uh, to everything else that we've uh, that we've sort of experienced now. There we go. They've got some uh, hearty meals out here. There are people out here eating away at the tables. That's really really good. Probably going to need another stonemason at some point. The provisioner is getting done now and getting built now, so that's good. Now, do we have raw meat and stuff? We don't have any rabbit meat. Is it only rabbits that they can... No, it's not rabbits they can hunt because there we go. There's a deer there. So, I wonder why at least this rabbit meat. Oh. Okay, you can see what they You can see what you got on there. There we go. That's actually really, really good. It allows you to... It allows you to actually selectively choose what you do, what you want displayed in there. And I think that's really, really good. I think that's fantastic. So there we go. There we go. I'm going to leave this one here, guys, though, as the first look. Um, and having a squiz. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to hit like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Don't forget that you can download this demo if you want to play it. I'm not sure when they're going to take it off of Steam. Or if they are, maybe they're going to leave it up. But uh, definitely add it to your wish list if you are interested in it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye.